What's up, guys? In this recipe, we're going to show you how to make Filipino pork asado. In our family's version of pork asado, we'll be simmering fatty pork slices in a soy sauce and lemon-based marinade. To start, you'll first need about three pounds of pork butt. If there's an excess amount of fat, feel free to trim it off. But if you're cool with it, you can just keep it intact. Next, cut your pork into large chunks about the size of a fist. Afterwards, in a large pot, evenly spread out half a chopped red bell pepper. Then arrange your pork chunks on top in a single layer. And then follow it up with half a sliced onion, half a bulb of minced garlic, one fourth of a cup of lemon juice, one fourth of a cup of soy sauce, and half a cup of water. Cover your pot and bring it to a boil. If your lid has a venting hole, you'll want to plug it so that the liquid doesn't evaporate. We like to use a wet, folded paper towel to cover it up. Once it's at a boil, lower your heat and bring it down to a simmer. And simmer everything for about 15 to 20 minutes. During those 15 to 20 minutes, you'll want to rotate your meat a couple times so that they can soak up the flavors and cook evenly on all sides. We ended up adding another half cup of water midway through because the liquid was running a little low. Once you're done, place your pork into a strainer. Then, you'll want to mash up the red bell peppers that are in the marinade. We use the potato masher, but you can easily just use a fork or whatever you find easiest. Don't throw this marinade away because you're still going to use it in a little bit. Next, you're going to fry the meat. Place your meat into a deep frying pan with about 3 fourths of an inch of oil that's been heated over medium heat. Frying the pork is going to help develop another layer of flavor into the meat and also make it easier to slice up later on. What you're looking to do is lightly crisp up the sides of your pork. When they're done, just place them back into your strainer. Now it's time to slice up your pork butt. Making sure you're cutting against the grain, all you want to do is take your pork chunks and slice them into about one third inch slices. After you're done, take your pork and evenly place everything back into the pot from earlier. Then go ahead and add in two chopped red potatoes. Ours were a little big, so feel free to chop yours a little smaller if you prefer them smaller. Next, cover your pot and simmer everything over medium heat for about 10 minutes. During those 10 minutes, you'll want to make a quick saute. In a new pan, drop in half a sliced onion into a few tablespoons of oil that's been heated over medium to medium low heat. Saute your onions for a little bit until they become translucent. Then add in half a bulb of minced garlic and saute them in as well. When your onion and garlic saute is done, just add it into the main pot and give it a quick stir. Your goal now is to cook the potatoes all the way through. Ours obviously weren't fully cooked. So we covered our pot and simmered everything for about 15 minutes or so. Afterwards, fork your potatoes to see if they're cooked. If they are, remove them from the pot and set them aside. If you don't set them aside and keep cooking them in the pot, they'll turn into mush now go ahead and add in 1 a cup of tomato sauce and dissolve it into the sauce. Cover your pot and simmer it for about 15 to 30 minutes. What you're trying to do is make your pork slices tender. Once you find that your meat is tender, continue simmering everything for about 10 minutes or so uncovered. Your goal at this point is to simply thicken the sauce. When the consistency of your sauce is pretty much there, add in half a chopped red bell pepper and mix it in. Continue simmering for another two minutes or so. Finally, just add your potatoes back in and give everything one good final stir. And you're done! Now, just serve your pork asado with some white rice. It's telegung tasty!